from the border. Once again, Ashley Banfield. Since the 1980s, the Afghan people have suffered immensely. Decades of war, three years of drought, more than five years under the iron-fisted Taliban, and now this most recent U.S.-led bombing campaign has added to the toll as well. It has displaced hundreds of thousands of refugees, many of whom headed for the border and into neighboring Pakistan. Some of them have been lucky enough to meet up with the woman you're about to meet, a woman who's dedicated her life to helping refugees help themselves. Well, what is shocking me as I meet more refugees and I meet more women and men and children is that everyone looks much older than they are. Um, a lot of them are in their 20s and they look like they are in their 40s, if not older. Uh, there is this fatigue. There is this um, sorrow in, in, their, uh, in their faces. The children don't have that fresh, lively, uh, happy feeling that a child usually has. Zainab Salbi is a young woman dedicated to helping refugees in desperate situations. And in a few short years, she has met and helped thousands of the displaced from conflicts all around the globe. I mean, a lot of them feel very desperate. And they, that, that feeling is very accurate, feel very hopeless. Um, a lot of them feel very bitter. For those who are aware of the outside world, feel very bitter that they are alone. And they don't have any jobs, any food, any money. And so what we're trying to do is see, well, how can we help them? She doesn't work from a distance. She travels to the troubled areas where refugees live. And she listens to individuals to help where she can. In many cases, those individuals are women, some caring for families, some suddenly on their own, either orphaned or widowed by war.